not as clear there, but we're going to uh, take his word for it. Um, uh, these, uh, these spotters are, are all pretty well trained here, and uh, he's reporting a, a rotating wall cloud west of the city of Granbury, um, and uh, his position is one mile southwest of Granbury. All right, and we're taking a look, another look at that Weatherford storm, uh, yet another storm that we've been watching, oh, Dan, now for almost how long? Uh, at least uh, at least a couple of hours couple of it appears hours to be now. That has multiple times had wall clouds, funnel clouds, even reports of a tornado. Uh, tornado warning. This is just coming in from the National Weather Service. Uh, they're going to be issuing a tornado warning coming up here in just a few moments for Hood County, west of Granbury. That's the storm that we were talking about there uh, just to the south. So once again, we're expecting the National Weather Service to update us and give us a new tornado warning once again for Hood County, west of Granbury. And the reports that we were getting uh, a little on the scary side that possibly, and there's that tornado warning that we're getting just now, and that's coming in for Hood County. And I'll go ahead and read that at 7.40 p.m. Storm spotters and Doppler radar observed a developing tornado near Oak Trail Shores. That is north of the uh, city of Granbury moving east at 15 miles per hour. They're saying, though, that Granbury is in the direct path of this developing tornado. If you live in or near Granbury, you need to take cover immediately here. Developing tornado, um, storm spotters uh, reporting that near Oak Trail Shores. Again, it's moving east at uh, 15 miles per hour. So if you live anywhere in Hood County from Oak Trail Shores down to the Granbury area, you need to take cover immediately here. We've got a very dangerous storm with large hail, likely damaging winds. And in addition to that, uh, a developing tornado, according to our storm spotters on the ground. And just north of that storm, we continue to watch very closely this storm here in Parker County that's got strong rotation in it. It is approaching uh, Tarrant County from the west. And uh, we've also got yet another storm here in northern Wise County, uh, just to the northeast of the town of Alvord is where we uh, have uh, seen the tornado. In fact, let me go ahead and pause that one more time. Uh, we'll do our uh, storm relative velocity here, and we'll show you that uh, there is that apparent tornado circulation uh, very close to uh, Alvord, probably just to the east of Alvord just to the east of uh, Highway 287 is uh, where we believe that a tornado is there in far northern Wise County. So three uh, distinct storms, three dangerous storms, all three appear to be either producing tornadoes or will be producing tornadoes shortly here. And you can see them all lining up. In fact, these uh, storms with time are kind of all now developing into one big complex that literally covers uh, North Texas for much of Cook County, through Montague County, down through Wise County, Parker County, and now down into Hood County as well. And all this activity is pushing off to the east. And generally what we see with time again is uh, we see this transitioning a little bit more towards a large hail and damaging wind event as we head through time. But Right now, we've got to be also worried about uh, tornadoes because these storms all have a strong rotation associated with them. I'm going to continue to watch our chat session here. Let me read you the very latest information. Uh, flash flood warning coming for Parker County. That uh, flash flood warning will be in effect until 945. Uh, possible debris ball being shown on the dual pole radar, yeah, see that right nine there. miles, boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, uh, I, that's yep. not a good sign. Yep, let me go ahead and, and, and point out what we're talking about here. Um, this is uh, our Doppler radar showing actually debris in the air from a tornado. And that's what you're seeing there. Confirmation that not only are we seeing a funnel, but we're seeing a tornado that's encountering things, trees, pieces yep. of homes, those kind of things. That's one of the worst things that you want to see in this situation. Boy, I'll tell you what, what this right is a there. very, very dangerous situation here. Let me go ahead and read you this. At 743, storm spotters and Doppler radar observed a developing tornado. It was located eight miles west of Anetta South, moving east at 20 miles an hour. Doppler radar has a tornado debris signature on this storm. That's what we call a debris ball. That's what I've circled there. Confidence in a tornado is very high at this time. If you're in the path of this tornado, you need to take cover immediately. It is moving east 
at 20 miles per hour. And it looks uh, like we're getting another warning as well. But this yeah. isn't for tornado. This is a severe thunderstorm warning because not only are we seeing those, these tornadic, possibly tornadic storms, but a lot of storms with some very large hail and some very strong winds. This warning, a severe thunderstorm warning, is now for Cook County, and that is until 8.45 p.m. Okay, just to repeat here, what we've zoomed into is a, uh, a tornado that uh, we believe is confirmed by Doppler radar. In fact, uh, what we're showing is a signature called a debris ball, and uh, that is where the actual uh, Doppler radar is showing debris in the air. And we believe that debris ball is being noted here just north of the town of uh, Tintop and west of Aneta South. That debris ball is roughly about seven to eight miles to the immediate west-southwest of the town of Aneta South, and it is moving east. Very dangerous situation here. We believe we've got a tornado uh, on the ground. Um, it is located south of Weatherford, uh, south of the city of Weatherford, and will likely be moving across Highway 171 if you live uh, in the town of Aneta South or anywhere near the town of Aneta South, you need to take cover immediately here. We believe we've got a confirmed tornado. Could be a large tornado. Um, we're showing the debris ball, it looks like, on radar there, uh, just north of the town of Tin Top and just west of 171. Indeed, yeah. there you see green meeting red there. That's where we believe we've got the counterclockwise circulation of a tornado on the ground east of Highway 287, east of the city of Alvord, heading in the direction of far northwestern uh, Denton County. Uh, dangerous situation here. Um, Jen, I'll, I'll let you uh, read the very latest information here from All our right. National Weather Service chat session. We're getting that the storm spotters and Doppler radar observed a developing tornado. What we've been talking about, this tornado was located eight miles west of Aneta. And it looks like south moving at moving east at 20 miles per hour. So this one's moving at a little bit faster clip than the ones that we've been previously seeing uh, that we've been seeing that tornado debris ball signature on this storm. So also confirmed by the National Weather Service that they're seeing the same things that we are here at Fox 4. Now, this is a very, very high risk tornado situation for this storm. And the National Weather Service is pleading with people to take uh, cover immediately. Now, we're still getting more reports out there as well. Uh, we've got a chaser, a couple chasers on the Alvord storm. Right now, a lot of trees in that area, so it's difficult for us as well as the tornado chasers to see what is exactly on the ground, so we're waiting for them to get into better position. And, of course, once we see what they see, we're going to let you know exactly what's on the ground right now. Thank you, Jen. And again, I'm going to widen our perspective here on Doppler radar, and we've got uh, several dangerous storms here, what we call supercell thunderstorms uh, with strong rotation in them, one in far northern Wise County, one in Parker County, one in Hood County, and they have all either produced tornadoes or are fully capable of producing tornadoes here uh, literally at any minute. So let me take them one by one again, starting up here to the northeast of Decatur, where we believe we've got, uh, uh, if we don't have a tornado on the ground, we're certainly continuing to see very strong rotation. You see it there where green meets red, east of Alvord, east of Highway 287, and uh, that uh, strong rotation is heading in the direction of northwestern Denton County here. Right now, it is northeastern Wise County that is most at risk for a tornado. These uh, thunderstorms here, while severe, we don't see an immediate tornado threat with around Bridgeport, Runaway Bay, and the Decatur, uh, but keep on your guard there. This one, we do see a very distinct uh, tornado threat. This appears to be what's, uh, what still may be our debris ball signature here on radar, uh, located north, northeast of the town of Tintop, west of uh, Highway 171. Um, and uh, that is where Doppler radar is literally showing debris in the air from this tornado. Um, and I'll circle the area here, red meets green, just west of Highway 171, just to the northeast of Tin Top. If you live in the town of Aneta South, you need to be in your tornado safe shelter 
Uh, this tornado is heading in your direction here. We believe we've got a tornado uh, on the ground here, and our uh, radar is apparently showing a debris signature uh, capturing the debris on radar from this Doppler radar. Now, uh, again, we go down to the south here, and yet another storm that uh, could be producing a tornado. As I look at the chat session here, though, let's see the very latest with this quarter-sized hail west of Granbury. Um, we had a spotter uh, that was uh, reporting a wall cloud uh, uh, west of Granbury earlier, but for the for the time being, we 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 don't believe we've got a confirmed tornado here in Hood County, but you are under a tornado warning because this storm does have strong rotation in it. And as I put it into motion here, you can see it is still moving off to the east at about 20 miles an hour. So you folks here in Johnson County, of uh, the town of uh, Godley here, could potentially be in the path of this uh, very dangerous storm as it continues to move off to the east. I'm going to take a little breather here. Uh, I've been talking for the last several minutes here. Um, again, if you're watching us, so we've got a very dangerous weather situation that continues to unfold here. Uh, not one, not two, but three uh, rotating supercell thunderstorms heading off to the east. Uh, Jen, we'll let you take it and from there. Dan, we're getting another report of a rotating wall cloud. A spotter is four miles west, northwest of Yvonne, Texas. So that's what we're seeing right now. That's two miles northwest of the location of that spotter. We're also looking at the Granbury storm where we're seeing tornado chasers and spotters that are seeing uh, a very low hanging wall cloud there. We're going to take a very, very short break here. Um, we need to do a couple of technical things. If you've been watching us, just please bear with us for just a few minutes. Uh, we'll be back with continuing coverage on the uh, severe weather situation here in North Texas. Also, some funnel clouds being reported with that storm. In fact, I'm looking at it right now, and it's still very threatening, a very strong storm that we're not expecting to dissipate anytime soon. Dan, what are you saying? Boy, I tell you what, a um, couple things here. Some of the very latest are uh, uh, one of the radar sites is indicating very strong rotation near the city of Granbury. Um, we believe that uh, we have uh, a strongly rotating wall cloud there that could produce a, a, a tornado, literally. Uh, and now, okay, here's the very latest. Tornado warning for Johnson, Parker, and Tarrant counties until 845. I'll go ahead and read here. Storm spotters and Doppler radar observed a developing tornado four miles southwest of Anetta South, moving east at 15 miles an hour. So let's get right in on that one again. Um, and go ahead and put that uh, the SRV product, if you will, on it. Um, and there you go. There, there you see the, the the green and the red indicating that uh, strong counterclockwise circulation. And let's see about how far south that is of the town of Anetta South. Roughly about three to four miles south southwest of Anetta South. Very close to Highway 171. Strong rotation. And I'll go ahead and erase that. Let me put this into motion over the last hour. This has been moving almost due east over the course of the last couple of hours. Almost looks like it's moving a little more south than east here. And so that is why we have a tornado warning that has been issued not only for Parker County, but uh, here's Tarrant County and uh, here's northwestern Johnson County. Now let me put the radar back up here that you're uh, a little bit more accustomed to seeing here. And large hail likely falling in Anetta, Anetta South, Alito. This is the very large hail core here. Uh, we can show you the uh, what we call our hail zone. And uh, uh, there is the hail zone being denoted. Boy, it's covering almost the entire southeastern quarter of Parker County. And uh, this could produce up to baseball-sized hail here, this storm. And, and now we've got a tornado confirmed um, in Pecan Plantation. Uh, that is in Hood County. Uh, so we're tracking multiple storms. We're going to try our best uh, to bounce back and forth between these two very, very dangerous storms here. Here's the one in Hood County. And, yep, absolutely no doubt about it. There is the strong rotation being shown by our Doppler radar here. 
It looks to me like it is about halfway between Granberry and De Cordova here, where the green meets the red. Um, we've got a tornado confirmed. Uh, in fact, it says near Pecan Plantation. I want to say it's uh, just to the northwest of there. But I tell you what, if you live anywhere from Granberry through De Cordova down to Pecan Plantation there, you need to be in your tornado safe shelter away from exterior walls or windows in a bathroom or a closet. And, uh, and now we're also being told that we've got a tornado on the ground northeast of the city of Decatur. So let me go back up to the north here um, and real quickly just touch on that one. Um, northwest or northeast of Decatur, excuse me. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll try to pinpoint that location there. And, and there you see, again, just north of Highway 380 where our green is meeting red here. That is our counterclockwise circulation. We believe we've got a tornado uh, northeast of Decatur. That tornado is also moving to the east. Looks like it's going to be heading in the general direction of uh, Highway 380 here. So you folks in extreme western Denton County, the towns of Crum and Ponder, that tornadic circulation is heading in your direction. Jen, the very latest from the, the chat session. Uh, we're getting the tornado warning for Hood and Johnson County until 9 p.m. this evening. Storm spotters and Doppler radar both observing a tornado 12 miles west of Godley moving east at 20 miles per hour. Now, this uh, is being broadcast was what they're seeing from, live from a helicopter. So that's confirmation that they are, in fact, now seeing that tornado on the ground. They're telling people in the path of the storm to take cover immediately. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Also now the latest storm report in from six miles southeast of Granbury. That's once again in Hood County. To baseball sized hail or larger, much of southeastern, or southeastern Parker County, southwestern Tarrant County, just to the immediate southwest of Benbrook. And then what I believe is the largest hail is falling just north of uh, Pecan Plantation there where we could have over baseball sized hail uh, with that uh, thunderstorm, that severe thunderstorm where we believe we've got uh, two tornadoes as well. I'm going to read here uh, from our national chat session, uh, well-defined wall cloud uh, with circulation one mile north of, um, let's see, where is that uh, location there? Um, they're not saying, let me go ahead and read here, baseball sized hail four miles north of Evance. That is uh, via a radio report into the chat session here. And I'll go ahead and let you read a couple of the other reports here. Yeah, Jen. we're once again getting a tornado debris signature on dual pole radar with the Granbury storm. That's what we've been looking at, that very tight circulation that we're so concerned about. Also, we're getting reports of a tornado one minute ago, uh, just moments ago, rather, in northeast Wise County. And the what we're seeing in that Granbury storm isn't something we want to see, which is the velocities increasing, uh, both in the way that they're oriented towards each other and the way of how quick that they are moving. And that means that the storm is intensifying. Dan, not good news. No, it's not. In fact, let's go ahead and, and visually show you what we've been describing here on radar. Uh, this is what we believe is a debris ball that is being shown on Doppler radar. That is debris that is in the air right now uh, being caused by this destructive tornado. It could be two by fours. It could be roofing nails. It could be shingles, um, things of that nature. Um, and that debris ball is being very well shown here right on Highway 171. This is extreme southern Parker County southeastern Parker County, and this uh, tornado is tracking off to the east-southeast. If you live anywhere here in extreme southeastern Parker County, um, here's Wheatland in extreme southwestern Tarrant County, Highway 377, kind of running there northeast to southwest. Very dangerous situation. You need to be taking cover right now. That means the lowest floor available away from exterior walls or windows in a bathroom or a closet. Um, if you've got some mattresses or heavy blankets that you can put over your head, maybe you've got some bicycle helmets that are right out in the garage, grab those as well. Uh, get in your tornado safe place and, uh, and be there. And Jen's drawn a little bit of a, a storm track on here. And uh, we've got an ETA time of roughly uh, 831 in Crescent and 903 in Godley. Jen, let's slide down farther to the south because we've got another 
very dangerous storm uh, that we believe is producing a, a tornado as well. Go ahead and put that other product on there, if you would, the uh, the SRV product that uh, allows us to, yeah, to show. Yeah, there it is, just north of uh, Pecan Plantation there. You're seeing, once again, the reds next to the greens. Not a good sign. Now, that is indicating counterclockwise rotation. We believe that this, uh, if it's not a tornado, it is a very strong rotating wall cloud. That's the stage right before tornado formation. And uh, this is moving off to the east towards western Johnson County, uh, just north of Highway 67, just south of Highway uh, 171, south of the town of Godley is where we believe this uh, tornadic circulation is going to track. Could reach the small town of uh, Bono there at uh, 845 if it continues on that general track there. Okay, um, we're getting reports, Dan, now of a tornado touching down a half mile uh, to the north of this spotter who was in Godley, Texas, in Johnson County. Yeah, so may maybe we shouldn't focus in on, on one specific area here because <laughs> that's been kind of the signature of these storms here is we're getting multiple areas where we're seeing rotation, sometimes simultaneous uh, uh, tornadoes. So anywhere from Pecan Plantation to Godley, uh, just to the west of Cleburne, you need to be on your guard. We've got a very dangerous storm there that is fully capable of producing a tornado and one that is just north. It almost looks like the two of these storms want to merge with each other. Uh, we're going to continue to keep a very close eye on the weather situation here in North Texas. And uh, we'll be back with more details coming up in just a bit. Again, tornado warnings in effect for Parker, southwestern Tarrant, eastern Hood County, and Johnson County. 71 in extreme southern Parker County is what we actually call a debris ball, and that is debris that was being kicked up by that tornado. And you can see it. You can almost see that little signature there as it heads off to the southeast. Uh, that was the debris being kicked up by the tornado as it was tracking here to the southeast at about to 15 miles per hour. Uh, now, these storms are beginning to merge together, which actually isn't a bad thing because as these storms merge together, they kind of interfere with each other. And typically that can, with time, reduce the tornado threat. Now, uh, I don't see an immediate tornado threat here in Tarrant County. It looks as if the uh, tornadic circulation continues to head down to the south uh, and west. Let's go ahead and show that if we can, Jen. Let's bring up that SRV product here. And Dan, and, real fast, real fast, we're getting reports yep. of debris on the roadway of Highway 171 just on the uh, Hood Parker County line. Well, that's exactly where we're, uh, where yeah. we're zoomed into. That's where green meets red here is showing very strong counterclockwise rotation. Uh, this is debris being kicked up by a damaging tornado, and we're getting reports through our chat session. Jen, it was what, debris literally being uh, on the roadway Thrown itself? Thrown onto the roadway itself, which is, of course, going to be a hazard for those traveling out in that area as they're heading home this evening, home to their families. And we're still getting reports that there's uh, damage on the roadway there, so not something you want to be traveling to or on this, uh, this evening. And I'll tell you what, go ahead. I want to make an important point here. Go ahead and put the, uh, the reflectivity back up here. This is where we believe our tornadic circulation is. Look at what's all around it. We've got a lot of rain, so we very well could have a tornado that's being wrapped in a curtain of very heavy rain. You may not see it approaching as it moves in from the northwest. So you folks in Crescent need to take cover immediately. Right now, away from exterior walls or windows, in a closet or a bathroom, wherever your tornado safe shelter is, that is where you need to be. I believe that this uh, tornado may be tracking through Crescent or very close to Crescent. In Hamilton County, and this is just one of uh, dozens of reports that we've been getting all evening long, a very, very large hail at one point. Uh, Dan getting reports of grapefruit-sized hail, which we had confirmation of uh, when we saw some photos that were coming in. So huge, huge hail, not just a tornado threat, but a very large hail threat as well. Yeah, getting a little bit more difficult now to pick up the uh, the, the tornado signatures. Uh, we believe we still may have one, though, here. 
very near the town of Crescent, where 377 and 171 merge. That would be up in the uh, Hood County, Johnson County line. In fact, uh, where they all three of the counties merge, Parker, Hood, and Johnson County. And I believe we've got the strongest rotation right now occurring east of uh, Pecan Plantation. Uh, this is right on the uh, Hood County, Johnson County line. Um, we haven't had confirmation yet, but uh, that certainly does look like uh, it, it could very well be a tornado. And it's heading off to the east southeast uh, towards Highway 67. Looks like it's going to pass uh, just to the southwest of Cleburne. But I'll tell you what, uh, you folks in Cleburne really, really need to pay close attention to this storm as do you folks living just off to the north there in Godley, because in addition to the uh, strong rotation here and the threat of tornadoes, we also have the uh, threat of very, very large hail. And we'll bring up that product once again. This is our uh, future hail product. And look at that uh, swath of hail uh, from eastern Hood County uh, through uh, much of western Johnson County, anywhere from quarter size to maybe baseball sized hail and another uh, hail core here from southeastern Parker County into southwestern Tarrant County, and another uh, hail core just to the north of Springtown. Jen, very latest information here. Yeah, we're getting some photos now of some hail. I believe it was Hood in Parker County that we're getting these. Parker in Wise County. This is what we're seeing, the hail. Very, very large hail. Look at this. You can see uh, a tape measure just below it. I'm seeing three-inch hail, four-inch hail there. You can see those big protruding spikes out the side. That's very indicative, a very strong updraft, something that not only uh, produces that very large hail, but also the same updrafts that are linked to the tornadoes, the circulation that we've been seeing all evening long. All right, let's talk in, in specifically now about Dallas and Tarrant counties. Dallas County, you're not under any warnings at the present time. However, you are in Tarrant County, but most specifically, we're talking about extreme southwestern Tarrant County. Uh, that's close to the uh, rotation that's uh, moving uh, near the Crescent area. That warning continues for Johnson, Parker, and Tarrant counties until 845. Um, it looks to me uh, like that uh, tornado circulation is going to stay southwest of Benbrook, and it certainly will stay well southwest of the city of Fort Worth. And what we're seeing right now, for the most part, around Dallas and Tarrant County is just plain old heavy rain, and lots of cloud to ground lightning, um, but the, uh, the 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 danger also lurks off to our north and west, where we could have a, uh, a developing tornado moving into northwestern um, uh, northwestern Denton County. Boy, now now all of a sudden things have changed. Yes, very dramatically, we're getting a tornado warning just about to come in from the National Weather Service for Arlington in southeast Tarrant County. We are seeing uh, oh, another, boy, look at that. and wow. this is this is a different storm. This is a new storm. This isn't one of the storms that we've been tracking. This is coming from the south and moving a more northerly instead of the easterly direction. And we're looking right now at the storm relative velocity. This tells us which way the winds are moving. We're circling this area of concern right there, just to the north of Mansfield, to the south of Arlington. This is a very troubling spot and, of course, a very highly populated area. And, you know, we've been seeing on our downtown Dallas cam a lot of people out driving, even though it's far and, you know, we're not seeing anything close to Dallas right now. Still, people not staying indoors. And that's something that really worries me because we're starting to get into some heavily populated areas. Yeah, this one, Jen, literally came out of nowhere here. I mean, obviously, we're under a tornado watch uh, for much of North Texas until 1 a.m. We've been concentrating on these big menacing storms off to the west and then all of a sudden here in the last literally five minutes in just one or two radar scans, here's what uh, the National Weather Service is seeing. They are seeing that strong rotation located south of the city of Arlington. It's just south of Interstate 20, just west of Highway 360. Uh, now, we don't have any visual confirmation of a tornado here, but what we are seeing could be a developing tornado. And, and this one is actually moving off to the northeast. So while many of the storms we've been tracking so far have been moving east or east-southeast, this one is actually moving northeast or north-northeast, kind of paralleling Highway 360 here. Again, and Dan, we're now, we're now getting reports or now getting the reports 
tornado warning for Dallas and Tarrant County until 9.15 p.m. Once again, Dallas and Tarrant County under tornado warning until 9.15 p.m. Uh, the people over the National Weather Service detecting a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado five miles south of Arlington. That's the storm you're looking at right now on radar that is moving. They're saying it's moving east at 20 miles per hour, but Dan, what we're seeing right now on the storm relative velocity indicates that this area of circulation isn't moving to the east, it's actually moving to the north northeast, which is uh, not something that we've been seeing with this line of storms. Typically, the storms that we've been seeing so far have been moving east. Yeah, let me go ahead and do a storm track on this here. Um, we believe it's moving northeast at about 20 miles an hour, which mean your, means your ETA time in Arlington would be roughly 841, right near DFW Airport at 854. Arcadia Park at 907, which is uh, just to the southeast of uh, Irving proper, and the city of Irving at uh, 914. Uh, tornado warning in effect now for both Tarrant and Dallas counties, and that is because of what radar is indicating here. Strong rotation, strong counterclockwise rotation in this storm heading off the northeast at uh, 20 miles per hour. And we're getting another area of strong rotation just west of Cleburne. This is another storm that we're yet again seeing. You know, it's not just one storm, Dan. We are seeing multiple storms with multiple areas of rotation. In fact, earlier we had a storm uh, just off to the west that we were seeing two possible tornadoes on the ground at the same time. This is a very dangerous situation. You're circling there, that area of rotation there just to the east of Pecan Plantation, just to the south of Godley. Now this area of rotation, Dan, is more being the more, moving the more typical way uh, off to the east. Yeah, let's put that into motion here. Here's Cleburne sitting off to the uh, to the east, Jen, and if uh, we put this into motion over the last hour or so, I think you'll see this uh, sliding off to the east, southeast, and boy, if you live anywhere near Cleburne here, you need to take shelter immediately as well. You're under a tornado warning of a storm with a history of uh, producing tornadoes and strong rotation is heading uh, in your direction. I would probably slide it a little bit, uh, a little bit farther to the north, Jen. Let's let's take that off a little bit more west to east here in the direction of Cleburne. Um, and uh, I believe that you're under the gun anywhere from Cleburne down to Rio Vista, uh, back just to the uh, east of Pecan Plantation. Very dangerous situation here. And Dan, this very are, well could be a tornado tracking off to the east. We have a ham operator telling us that in a Hood County Sheriff and EMS is reporting major damage via their scanner. This is, of course, a different storm there. And this is something to be really concerned about. This is one of the first real indications that we've had some ground truth damage from these storms. Yeah, anywhere again from uh, the, the town of Bono to Cleburne down to Rio Vista. You need to be in your tornado safe shelter. Extremely dangerous situation here. The Hood County Sheriff and the EMS is reporting major damage uh, via their scanners here as that storm moved through Hood County a little bit earlier and a lot, a lot of lighting with this, and you're circling that area of circulation once again. Yeah, this is strong rotation being detected by Doppler radar. We don't have visual confirmation of a tornado here, but I tell you what, it's going to be extremely difficult to see a tornado develop here amidst all the very heavy rain. It could very easily get wrapped in rain um, and then you would not see it approaching. Your only warning may be the actual roar of the tornado itself. Uh, again, let me go back to that product, uh, the, uh, our, uh, to peer inside the storm here. This is the circulation. It is moving off to the northeast at roughly 20 miles an hour. So I'll do a storm track on that again. And based on that track here, let me go ahead and back out once again to uh, get a little better view here. Let me take that off one more time. Uh, let's do a storm track here. This strong circulation is located in South Arlington. Um, it is literally just west of Highway 360, and it is uh, approaching Interstate 20. You folks in Arlington, 844 uh, is your ETA time, um, although I would be in your tornado safe shelter right now. That corridor stretching from South Arlington through Arlington, uh, up through DFW Airport, all the way up to the northeast in Irving, 
This is not a confirmed tornado, but what we are seeing here where the red meets the green is a pretty strong tornado circulation moving off to the northeast at about uh, 20 miles per hour. Let me back out one more time here, kind of reset. Uh, all of Dallas and Tarrant counties now under severe thunderstorm warnings. In fact, so are Denton and uh, Wise County. So if you're not seeing the threat of a tornado, you're seeing the potential of perhaps up to golf ball sized hail and damaging wind gusts in excess of uh, 60 miles an hour. Looks like we've got uh, uh, an observation there, Jen. Yeah, a gust up to 51 miles per hour there. We're getting uh, another report here of that Arlington circulation getting close to I-20 and Dow Worthington Gardens is what we're hearing right now. So that's that's the latest that we're hearing from the National Weather Service. Uh, we're getting acorn-sized hail reports being uh, reported between Granbury and Benbrook. That's from Andy Compost who let us know about that one. We're working right now to get some cameras. We have some of those downtown cameras that we're trying to point towards that area of circulation to possibly see if we're seeing any power flashes. But at this point, uh, when we're looking downtown Dallas, it's hard to see anything outside because the rain is so intense that even if there was something on the ground, Dan, it would be difficult to see. Yeah, and that's something that we can't stress enough here is uh, that we have the potential for these uh, tornadoes to become wrapped in a heavy curtain of rain and you would not see it approaching. In fact, we had a comment earlier of a spotter who was in in an area out west of Fort Worth. I believe it was in Parker County. She said she saw the tornado and then it became wrapped in rain. She got real scared. She headed back in because she just literally couldn't see which direction it was moving anymore. Uh, Jen, if we would, let's go ahead uh, and, and try to pinpoint first. Let's go up to the uh, to the north here around the Boyd area. Um, see if we can potentially see any rotation developing there because that cell is moving uh, to the southeast in the direction of uh, far northwestern Tarrant hmm. County. Don't see anything there. Yeah. Um, let's go up to the northeast of there where we still do have that tornado warning. And, and there still appears to be perhaps uh, uh, an area of rotation here in, in northwestern Denton County and in extreme southern Cook County. Uh, but it gets increasingly difficult for our radar beam. It's having to go through multiple severe thunderstorms here. It's also gaining uh, altitude as it goes out from southern Tarrant County. Um, but uh, we still believe that there is a tornado threat here in northern Denton County and in southern Cook County. One area where we still uh, can see circulation uh, is uh, near Arlington. In fact, let's go ahead and zoom in as best we can here into Tarrant County. Um, and that, uh, boy, that it's area is... It's not quite as defined. It is not, which is good news. Yes. That is actually good news. It's not nearly as well defined as it was about five or ten minutes ago. Um, so we believe right now, just based on this, that uh, the circulation may be weakening a little bit. But keep in mind, uh, we are still under a tornado warning here, not only in Tarrant County, but in western Dallas County as well. Let's continue to slide down to the south, see if we can pick up that uh, circulation that is uh, west of oh, Cleveland. Oh, there it is. Ooh, yep. Absolutely. That's, this that's is a very, very dangerous storm here, folks. There, you, This is what a tornadic circulation looks like on Doppler radar, uh, where the red is meeting the green here. Very strong counterclockwise circulation. This is Highway 67. That's the city of Cleburne. We've had reports from EMS uh, and from the Sheriff's Department in Hood County of major structural damage as this tornado went through Hood County. They are saying it caused major structural damage and uh, it, it, it's going to continue to slide off to the southeast. It's probably going to pass just south of the city of Cleburne, but do not let your guard down in Cleburne. You need to be in your tornado safe shelter there um, away from exterior walls or windows in a closet or a bathroom. These storms are fully capable of changing direction and right now it's moving to the southeast but it could very well make more of a turn towards the east and head towards Cleburne. And we've also been seeing when we see one one storm weakening and another redeveloping that so like you said even though Cleburne it looks like they'll be okay from this area but another area could form to the north as we saw with an earlier storm that could threaten that area so it's very important the people in the town of Cleburne are taking shelter right now. Let's get back into Dallas and Tarrant counties here uh, and into Denton County, Collin County. Bring the radar back up if you would, Jen. 
And uh, we've got severe thunderstorm warnings now in effect uh, for all of Dallas County, for all of Tarrant County, for much of Denton County. Uh, high winds over 60 miles an hour, large hail that could be over golf ball size are possible with these storms. Uh, we have literally uh, storms that uh, are, are kind of all clustering together now, um, and it's becoming uh, a little bit more uh, of a muddied situation, whereas a couple of hours ago we had distinct, well-defined yes. storms. Now they're all kind of converging as expected on the Dallas-Fort Worth area here. And now this is kind of becoming more of just a widespread uh, wind and, and perhaps hail threat. But I'll tell you what, we continue to watch with uh, a very close eye this storm here uh, near Arlington that was showing signs of a pretty strong rotation about five or 10 minutes ago in South Arlington. That rotation appears to be kind of a little bit disorganized right now, but again, this storm could fully redevelop, recycle, and, uh, and produce a tornado as it heads off to the northeast here at about a 15 to 20 mile per hour clip. So anywhere here in northeastern Tarrant County, uh, down through North Arlington, uh, over towards uh, West Dallas, Irving, even as far north as, uh, as the Carrollton area here, uh, you need to be on your guard here because this storm uh, that still has a rotation in it is heading off to the northeast. Gentlemen,